For all non-Australians watching this video, you may have heard that our government is banning social media for all children under 16 years of age, and in a sense, it's not too hard to see why. I mean, let's be real, 2025 has given us only a taste of how cooked the internet is going to be in terms of meme culture. 6-7, Mango Mustard, the Kabi Lami Mechanism. All these memes are so brain dead and keep spawning so fast, they've kind of coalesced into what can only be described as a huge pile of lobotomizing slop, slowly dissolving our minds as we continue to consume it. I mean, don't get me wrong, who doesn't like a good bit of Sora 2 slop or a well-placed 6-7 <laughs> once in a while? But then again, I also miss when memes were a little more intellectual, with masterpieces like It's Time to Stop. It's time to stop and Uganda Knuckles providing deep commentary about how we just need to stop and ask ourselves, do we really know the way? Or have we lost our way as a society? Was there even a way to begin with? God, I feel smarter already. But I'm sure you've heard people rant about this before. So I would like to take this opportunity to explain a fascinating emerging scientific theory about an event known as the Great Meme Reset, which is predicted to occur as we transition to 2026. Now, the logic and the mathematics behind this may get a little crazy, so bear with me, and please feel free to repeat any part of the video if you're feeling a little lost. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, let's start with the basics. For the past couple years, the quality of internet humour has been on the decline. The funniness of any meme is measured in source over exposure, where source is the elusive element that gives a joke its appeal. This is why jokes between friends with little exposure to society are hilarious, but may not be as appealing when exposed to a large crowd. This is also why memes eventually die out, as funniness is inversely proportional to exposure. However, memes, like the gas particles inside a star, or have masses, measured in chungoids. This exposes the major issue upon which the Great Meme Reset Theory is based. Memes can be forgotten, but they don't go away. They pile up over time to use up large amounts of storage on internet servers, forming a mass of memes that equates to a practically immeasurable figure of chungoids. To prevent this Great Meme Mass from collapsing, a state of humorous equilibrium must be achieved, where the sum of the source of the memes is equal to the total gravitational potential energy of the memes. Due to the recent low quality of memes, the lack of source, and the rate at which they are being produced, the internet's pile of memes will reach a critical point where the source is insufficient to counteract the sheer gravitational pull of all those shit posts. <laughs> Great meme mass will collapse beyond the slop child radius, forming a slop hole of unfathomable strength. This will lead to the warping of slop time, rewinding the servers back to approximately July 27th, 2009. At the rate we're going, leading memeologists are predicting this event to occur as we transition to 2026. Whew, that was a mouthful. This leaves the internet with two questions, with the first of these being, can we stop this from occurring? Well, according to the maths, if a meme or shitpost possessing exceptional source and exposure happens to drop sometime soon, then the meme reset could be postponed or avoided completely. However, the second question is, do we want to stop this from happening? No. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time that I... <laughs> 